Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Sincere on Beats, and you are now listening to me on Real Talk. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, you can't help it, you cannot help it. But listen, before you go any further, I need you to like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, get us an algorithm, um, visit musicdiarygroup.com, get some inspirational uh, entertainment while you're there You know what I'm saying Tell everybody Where to go as well So listen man Obviously you know By the title We're gonna talk about Wendy Williams Not 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 a long time But you know And then my man Diddy Again Yeah he's in the headlines again Ladies and gentlemen He's in the headlines Again So let's Let's get my opinion On the Wendy, Wendy Williams Documentary how do I feel about it? Um, I feel like it's a scheme. It's bigger than what we see on TV. Um, I know now that there is an issue in the state of New York with guardianship. Um, it's, it's another case that actually, it hasn't just came out, but is more awareness of it. It's a, um, a couple of issues in regards to people getting their money and are in the sound, they're in a sound mind, but they cannot get their money after doctors cleared them of being um, okay and being of sound mind. You know, um, it's just the system is broken. You know, it goes beyond what we think it is. Um, this is all just unfolding, and I believe more is going to come. And that's the reason why I think. The family um, aired this documentary on TV to share light on a bigger issue. Um, I don't know if the family's actually taking money from Wendy. I, I can't say because we really don't know. Um, all I know is she do have family that loves her. You know, um, according to the documentary, when she went down to Florida, she was okay. Meaning, if she was okay when she went to Florida with around her son and uh, her other family members, that'll tell you that's where she needs to be, right? I mean, common sense. Somebody's getting better where in a, in a specific area. Who are those people around her who's really helping her to get better? Come on, you got to look at that. And then when she goes back to familiar territory in New York... Where she's around, um, you know, yes, yes, sir, yes, ma'am type of people who don't really care about her health. I mean, you know, let her do whatever she want to do and lie to her about being back on TV. This is what you're going to get, you know. Um, do I think she has a, a mental health problem? Maybe. But I think alcoholism uh, uh, contributes to a lot of her situation um, in previous drug use that contributed to her health de declining now. You know what I mean? Or, now hear me out. Or check this out. Somebody's poisoning her to make her seem like she's delusional or she's demented. You know what I'm saying? Think about that. I'm pretty sure nobody thought about is she being poisoned? You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't know. I can't say. I don't, I'm not in that situation. I'm only speaking about what was presented to the world. You know what I mean? So, yeah, prayers and shout out to her family and shout out to, you know, Wendy, Wendy Williams, man. You know, hope she can get healed from, you know, this, this situation, man, and get free. But, yo, it ain't, <laughs> I don't know who's taking her money. I don't know what's what. You know, I don't know if the bank is is in cahoots with the judge. I don't I don't know any of that, but it's some strange business going on. You know, and I hear people saying uh, that Wendy was also a prick anyway. So that's just her anyway. So maybe it's more enhanced due to alcoholism. You know, I don't know. We don't know. I don't know her personally, but people who know her personally said that, you know. So that's just my opinion on it. I don't know. We don't know. Um, I know a lot of people also said 
why did they show her without her wigs on? Why did they show her feet? I think it could be evidence that they're going to present to the court um, shortly. You know, they could show what's going on, that she, like that she didn't have no food under the guardian's care. You know, they could show that even under the guardian's care, she still was drinking. So they could prove that. You know what I mean? Everything ain't always what it seemed to be. So you got to you, you gotta think outside the box. What is it for? You know, um, I know the case is about to be reopened. I think she she can open it every year or something like that. So they can review certain things. So I, that that time is coming up. So it could be for that. You never know. Um, so that's just my thought. I mean, what do you think? Put it in the comments. Y'all let me know. Because I read comments whenever we get them. <laughs> whenever we get the comments. I read the joints, man. So let me know what you think in the, um, in the comments section. Um, so yeah, so listen. In other news, we got to go talk about Diddy again. Diddy is, what's wrong, man? What's, what is going on? All right, you got Diddy hit it with another lawsuit from a producer by the name of Lil Rod. So, what is this about? Allegedly, okay, this is all allegedly. Remember I told you allegedly. You got to say allegedly. Allegedly, Lil Rod saying people been touching all up in his booty hole. That's what's in the court documents. He was saying when he was working on an album, you know, Diddy made him deal with people of the night, chicks of the night, or dudes of the night. I don't know. I wasn't there. This is all the alleged, allegedly. I wasn't there. Um, but he made him, you know, interact with like drugs. And he even mentioned uh, Cuban Gooding Jr. Play with his booty hole too. That's what he said. That's what he said. Allegedly, that's what he said. Um, and 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 yo, this this seems real dis <laughs> disgusting. He said he was working on an album. I forgot the name of the album, but he was there living with Diddy for um, you know a long time. And then he said he got video in his phone of Diddy doing drugs and doing all this illegal activity. That's what he said he has, allegedly, in the court documents. Um, I, I don't know. You know, this, they said this guy came, this producer came from like a gospel background. You know, he worked with Donald Lawrence, um, the Clark sisters, and they say he's a, a instrumentalist. So... I don't know. This is what's going on, but he's suing for thirty million dollars. Thirty million dollars, people. That's a lot of money. Of course, Diddy's coming out, you know, through his lawyer and saying, "Nah, this is all a lie. Dude is lying. He's just trying to get paid. He just, you know, everybody's looking for the payday." But I don't know, man. My thing is this: you're not gonna make me do anything. I, I'm not, I, you ain't going to play with my booty hole or make me sleep with some chicks on account of a record. I'm not doing none of that. I'd rather be poor. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to hold you, man. You know, you're saying a lot of dudes play with your booty. You a grown man. So this is all alleged, allegedly what he said. You a grown man. I don't know him. You know, it just sounds really strange. You know, because if somebody did that, that's to you, that's sexual assault and that's rape. For real, let's call it what it is. That's rape. You know what I mean? And 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 that's this is all bad. If that's what happened. I'm not saying Diddy did it. I'm not saying he didn't do it. Because again, this is all alleged and we don't know. Um but you hear stories, I've been hearing stories about Diddy even when I was younger. I always said, you know. Things, you know, he might be gay or something. I always said something that something wasn't right. You know, this was before all this internet and all of that, man. So I don't know. This is all a legend, you know. Um, people who's been around Diddy, they know, you know, and, and, and little, little Rod, he know. And, and, and my thing is, why now? You know, why now? And if, if, 
you've been saying this, you know, all right, cool. You know, you do what you got to do, but I'm, man, listen, people. Everybody want to get paid. Everybody looking for a payday. You got to protect yourself. You know, can't be around certain people. You can't bring drama to you, man, because at, at the end of the day, people want money. People is going to say certain things. They're going to try to defame your character. You got to protect yourself at all costs. You know, um, yeah, that's all I got to say about that, man. Just, just, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. This is all allegedly. You know, you don't come over here and try to flag my YouTube channel. Don't do none of that because everybody talking about the same thing. I'm just putting my sense in there because we are a music platform. And not just a music platform, but we talk about other things that has to do with, um, you know, life. But we put a positive twist to it, you know. So, again, check out musicdiarygroup.com. Get some inspirational while you inspirational music and entertainment while you're there. You know, um, again, like this video, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the section, man. Let me um in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about what I said today. All right. So, yo, I'm out. It's your boy Sincere on Beats. Peace.